Diabetes mellitus type 2 is a metabolic disorder that is characterized by high blood glucose due to insulin resistance. In a normal individual, the pancreas monitors and regulates blood glucose using hormones such as insulin to tell the body to take up glucose from the bloodstream into the cells. In type 2 diabetes, an individual's body does not respond correctly to insulin and sugar accumulates in the blood. Studies out today that draw the same disturbing conclusion. Americans are not winning their battle against obesity. One study found that obesity rates for adults actually rose in 28 states this year. Only the District of Columbia showed a decline. So why is it that Americans keep getting fatter in spite of government efforts ranging from calorie posting to new school lunch programs? Obesity is the number one factor leading to insulin resistance and therefore type 2 diabetes. So what is public health doing to combat obesity and type 2 diabetes? Kristen and Colin Robinson are a mother and son Nightline followed last year through a several thousand dollar program. A two week long weight loss camp which basically retaught them how to move and how to eat. Today's lunch list for me was veggie burger, baked beans, and go four ounces of gold leek soup. Americans spend a lot of money trying to lose weight and a lot of time talking about it. We're spending $150 billion a year treating obesity-related uh, illnesses, so we know this is a problem and there's a lot at stake. A new study published today in the Journal of Adolescent Youth looked at more than 6,000 middle school children across the nation and found that nearly 7% are not obese but severely obese. The second study by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and Trust for America's Health, both public health advocacy groups, not only found obesity rates up in 28 states, but also that more than a quarter of the population is obese in two-thirds of the states. Nutritional education is critical. We have to teach Americans what to eat and how to eat it. The next big issue concerning diet is the comparatively high cost associated with eating healthy. We have to find a way to bring the cost of eating nutritional foods down to an affordable level. Physical education is just as crucial. Not only do we need to teach Americans how to exercise, but we also have to do a better job providing more opportunities to do so. Please.